And I'm convinced we are at the final moments of the church age. And tell our audience what this red heifer stuff's all about. Well, you know, this is a strange law that God had put forth in Numbers chapter 19 about uh, taking a red heifer and uh, putting it over a fire and made of cedar wood and uh, hyssop would be thrown into it and a red scarlet cord would be thrown into the fire. And what's all that about? Uh, but this was to purify people uh, that uh, had become unclean, uh, such as touching a dead body or uh, touching someone, uh, as an example, if a loved one that you're in a tent. And, you know, there were a million and a half to two million people going to the promised land when this law was written by God. And uh, so anyway, this was a uh, cheap economical way for people to purify themselves when they found themselves in that unpurified predicament. That's what the red heifer thing was about. However, the most important thing we need to talk about is how Jesus Christ actually fulfilled all the concepts of the red heifer. Well, how was that? Well, actually, uh, the cedar wood is a uncorruptible wood. You know, bugs can't eat through it. That was the kind of wood that would be used with the uh, sacrifice of the red heifer. And of course, uh, hyssop uh, has to be thrown in the fire. They brought hyssop to Jesus' lips. Uh, we see that when he was at the cross. Also, a scarlet uh, cord had to be thrown into the fire with a red heifer sacrifice. They actually put a uh, red robe over Jesus before going to the cross. So we see all those things played out. And uh, the one thing I, I wanted people to know that the red heifer sacrifice is actually a female animal, which is highly unusual. Well, what's all that about? Well, just as the red heifer sacrifice uh, was outside of the camp in Numbers chapter 19, Jesus was sacrificed on a cross outside of the camp, also outside of Jerusalem. It says that in, in uh, Matthew chapter 15, verse 22. Um, now, the, the red heifer was a female cow. So the sacrifice had something to do with female, right? But the sacrifice of Jesus Christ had something to do in a connection with females also, and that is the bride of Christ, who he yeah. sacrificed everything for. And that bride is discussed in uh, Revelation chapter 21, verse 2, the bride of Christ coming down out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. So the red heifer and the crucifixion of Jesus Christ is a love story. So there you have it. Jesus fulfills the red heifer concept at the cross 2,000 years ago. Amen.